Hello, my name is Paolo Vandalo, and this time I will show you pattern editing in Stepper Part 2. This time we talk about track columns. Entering a pattern like this um, Um, is on this column right now. If you would like to put another sample on here, you can do this in the same column. But you can change the column like this and it will be placed on the next column. We have four columns and you, have the f you will have four columns to choose for every track. So you you can edit patterns like this. Next thing would be the copy paste area. If you press the session button, you notice that the keyboard is gone. Um, you have eight slots for copy and paste. If you press the red button, you clear the slot and select it. When it's selected, it's green. You can select buttons you want to copy. If you press the green button, you notice that it's red blinking. This will be paste mode. And you can enter the notes and it will be paste it. As you also notice, you can only copy the current column you, are select you have selected here. It's not that you can um, copy all these three notes here. You always select this current column for copying. and paste also works across instruments. For example, if I create if I copy these two buttons and go to another instrument, for example this one, I can paste them in here. Of course I trigger the instrument which is bound to this uh, track. the instrument layer, above the instrument row, I mean, is the effect row. You have three default effects on Renoise, volume, panning and delay. Um, if you want to if you enter a pattern like this, You notice it's very straightforward that every node will be triggered at the same time. You can de delay them like this. You, you notice there's a difference, of course, if you know this effect delay. The same holds for panning and velocity. Well, basically, that's everything you can know about pattern editing and stepper.